Welcome back, guys. Exciting news. Do you remember Scott, the head of marketing? Where is he? Scott. Where are you, Scott? Scott Browning, <clears throat> the head of marketing. He has um, he staged a bit of a coup, to be honest. And uh, they've he's recruited for a brand new marketing campaign, Vinnie Jones, to be the face of MicroHard, with the tagline, "Buy our software, or else." <laughs> Do you like that? You like that? You think that'd be a successful ad campaign for MicroHard? Yes, I do too. Right. Um, now, ad designers have got nothing to do at the moment. And um, if you remember, in the last in the last episode, we 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 found out that um, that three D design is uh, well, three D design and three D uh, programming, whatever is all is available now. So we need to get these guys sent off on on training courses, and we're just going to do it. And and it's really quick to do, right? It's good. All you do is just select everyone, right? Select the whole group. And then say educate, right? These are going to be design, and I'm going to get. I'm just going to give them three months of 3D training. 3D training, start education. Boom. That's it. That's it. They're all done. And then we'll do the same with uh, these guys. This is design two, isn't it? Yeah, design two. Select all of them and educate. Design three months. 3D start education. Boom. And then finally, let's get design three employees. Same again. Select all of them. Educate. Three months, 3D design. Start education. Boom. All done. How about that? Cool. Yeah, let's just, just let this run. It's, it's nice seeing the people like wandering around and stuff. And on, on, on times one speed, it's pretty slow. So um, we'll have a look and see how we're doing. Look at MH-DOS. MH-DOS is making 1.2 million now. Remember that started off, it was only, it was making, you know, like a hundred thousand or something. It's making 1.2 million now. My God. It's unbelievable. Uh, what else is doing? Game Edit is making 200,000. Um, we have, that's the pre-marketing for Air Tricks. What else is, what else is making us money? Video Edit's making 150,000. That's uh, MH-DOS Video Edit. Um, yeah, so we 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 are making we are making a, a bit of cash out of MH DOS, which I, that's like a bit of a surprise. So we'll look at our profits. What are we making? We're making we've averaged one point two million a month for the last six months. That's not bad. Last month we made a million. Awesome source, and that should keep us going um, while we're kind of waiting to make our killer operating system, which is hopefully going to happen. Very early in, uh, in in 1984. Look at look at our design teams. They're all sleeping because they 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 got nothing to do today, and they're all going on training courses tomorrow. But just slackers, just fire the whole lot of them. Right, um, how's marketing do? Yeah, marketing are working in a way. They're they're cranking out the stuff. Right, well, I guess what we need to keep an eye on now is just uh, the development of uh, Airtrix spacecraft. And uh, star gangs at night. Oh, and audio edit, and uh, and see how we let's, let's let's speed this up a bit. How we how we? Oh, audio edits getting cranked out. That's good news. I'd like to get. I'd like to get. You know what? I might. Um, this. Who's working on air tricks? Program one. I might take program one off this. Let's get air tricks released. Let's get that done and get that released a bit quicker. The, the, the question is, see, actually, I'm going to switch this around. I'm going to put, I'm going to put all round on this because there's more artists in there. I'm going to put all round on that one. And MH DOS audio edit. That's done. Oh, that's done. Let's just pause this. That's done. Oh, okay. Well, let's promote it. It's into beta. Good, good, good. Let's crank that up again. Uh, keeping track, I've got to say, keeping track of all of this is like, whoa, so much to do. So I've got all round working on this. I don't want all round working on that. Let's um, let's take all round off that. And let's have program one, program two on that one. It's kind of cool switching these teams around. Let's have a look at the next day. So we, we were at 1.2. So MH-DOS is down a little bit now. 900,000. 
I'm just thinking about the timing for the release of uh, these products. Um, let's pause this. It is June. Okay, you know what? Because uh, the problem is that... Uh, oh, hang on. If we, marketing will be going in on holiday in January. Oh, no, we're okay. We're okay. We're good. Okay, let's release audio edit then. They fixed all of the bugs. So let's release that now. Marketing should be able to get that done today. So let's start that marketing campaign. Let's go down here. We can minimize that. And uh, what else are we going to do? Uh, nothing. Oh, uh, that needs to be promoted. MH DOS Game Edit. My God, that's probably been sitting there for ages. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Okay, let's promote that into beta as well. Oh, yo, yo. I'm losing track. I'm losing track. Spacecraft Stargaz, Air Tricks, MS DOS Game Edit. Oh, my Lord. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Keep turning it out. Oh, my God. So, yeah, they're going to get the marketing done for uh, MH DOS Audio Edit, which is great news. MH DOS Game Edit must have been sitting there for ages not doing anything. Oh, dear. That's not good. That's not good. I lost track of that. I gotta say, this this interface over here is not the most friendly interface for keeping like track of things. But it is what it is, and it makes it fun. We've only got one product that we've got support running on, which is kind of good. Okay, so Airtrix is like almost done. All round are working on that. Program two are working on spacecraft. I've got all I've got all round. This should be program three. You. Uh, no, yeah, program, no, this should be, this should be program one, shouldn't it? Yeah, that should be program one, I think. <laughs> should that be program one? I've lost track of what the hell I'm trying to do. Oh, man. Th th this, is a, this is a good argument for having it on automated. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, we've got a product reviewed. Let's see. We highly recommend MH DOS Audio Edit. Good, excellent. How much is it making? It's making 650,000, which is beautiful. We've, um, we've got MH DOS Video Edit, which is making uh, like a fair amount. Now, the beta for Game Edit is done, right? So we can release that. We could do the marketing for it. Boom, boom, boom. Start the campaign, excellent. That can be minimized. And then, uh, let's see, Airtrix. Airtrix is done. It's great quality. Is it quite, I don't think that's quite, is it done? You know what, I think, I think we'll just release it, we'll just switch that into beta as it is. Yeah, let's, let's just put that into beta. So we've still got Spacecraft going, we've still got Star Gangs at Night going. Um, that's all round. That's program two. That's program one. Okay. We could do... We could do with more... Uh, more artists, I think, on these two. To get those finished. I think we'll... Like, once this is... Uh, once they finish the beta, we'll put um, all round onto this one and get that done. And then onto this one and get that done. I think that would make some sense. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Right. So let's um, let's keep this uh, let's keep this going. Uh, marketing for game edit. We're making a hundred and eighty thou on game edit. But what about MH DOS game edit? What are we going to make from that? That's the big question. Come on, marketing. Get this done. Get the marketing done. It's kind of important to get all of our marketing done for that today. Uh, they're not going to get it. They're not going to get it finished. So we're not going to maximise. I should have like up the uh, up the priority on that. But yeah, it's okay. Let's speed this up. Let's get to the next day. I want to see what that makes and what effect that has on uh, MH uh, MH DOS. So what are we making? Oh hell yeah, mama! MH DOS Game Edit is making a million. Audio edit making a hundred thousand, video edit's down to twenty-five thousand, video edit 
hundred thou. Game edit, hundred and twenty. And MH DOS, yeah, making four hundred thousand. So, what are our overall profits? Well, we've got it up to one point five million, which is not too bad. And we've got, let's see, we've got a total net worth of the company of twenty three million. So we're getting there. What's the um, what's the review? Micro hard shocks gaming. MH DOS game edit is a beautiful piece of engineering. Well, of course it is. Anything in the uh, anything in the business section? No. Anything in the industry section? No. Nothing new. Okay. Right. What we're we going to do next? Well, um, this beta is done. So let's pause this. We'll uh, we'll promote this into. Well, sorry, we'll release it, promote it. We'll release that. We'll get that marketed. Boom, boom, boom. Start the marketing on that. So we've now got Air Tricks being released. Um, so now we can move. Uh, let's see. This is all artist work. So we'll assign all round to work on that. You know what? We'll assign all round to work on this one as well. Let's get it. Let's get it done. Right, cool. So we're uh, we're cranking these out now. Obviously, our designers are all off on their training, or at least they should be. Uh, let's see, let's see. Are they? Are they? Are they all on their training courses? Uh, where are they? State. Yeah, they're all in class, so they're all working. Now, when they come back, they can start designing stuff, and we can send all of our programmers on their three D courses. Ha 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 ha! Oh yeah. So um, that's, uh, that's going to work out kind of well, I think. And the timing should be just about right. We should be coming up to the end of the year. So um, February 1985, we should be able to start work on, the, uh, on the, our new super duper MH-DOS 2.0. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. Right, let's get these things done then. So I'm hoping that these guys are going to rattle this out fairly quickly now yeah they're getting that done yeah this is getting done right that's done right let's promote that let's get that into beta that shouldn't take too long no oh, they're rattling through it this is this is still got a bit of artwork to do on that it's only going to be great quality though right promote that let's get that into beta i don't even get both of these released i think i'm gonna wait am i gonna i'm gonna wait I'm not going to release these today. I'm going to wait till tomorrow morning so that we can get a full day's marketing. Um, you know, I'm wondering. I'm wondering if that's a good idea or not. No, you know what? Uh, we'll re no, we'll release them first thing in the morning. We'll release them first thing in the morning. I think that's a smart thing to do. So those those are both finished. Let's crank this up. Let's get through to the next day. Come on. We'll get um, we'll get the review for Air Tricks, which would be kind of cool. And uh, here we go. What does it go up to? Does it go up to like ten o'clock? Yeah, because we've got the IT people around till ten. So let's get through to the next morning. Oh come on. Well, it, yeah, there we go. Right, next morning. Let's look at the product review. We highly recommend Air Tricks. Micro hard surprises with this awesome game. And how much does it make? It's making two and a half million. Oh, hell yes. That is just exactly what we needed. A hit game. That is... Oh, I'm so over the moon. Right, so now we can release uh, Spacecraft. Boom. Market it. Yes. Aggressively. Boom. Uh, Minimise that. And we'll release Star Gangs at night. Yes. Boom, boom, boom. Start the campaign, and that could be minimised. All righty. Okay, you know what? Let's um, let's just check our servers. That's not a bad idea. Uh, let's let's run this on until we actually get a load on here. But th there should be no load. There should be no load. Huh? Okay. Um, I tell you what, we should do then. We should get our uh, we should get our de uh, developers. Uh, off on their 3D courses, shouldn't we? Yes, we should. Yeah. Okay, so let's have a look. Program one. Now, 
This is going to be slightly more complicated because we've got the um, we've got the the any job guys. Now they're going to need extra training because they've got to be trained on 3D and on 3D art. So let's get them started on 3D art, I guess, of 3D programming. Start education. Boom. Right, then, now this is going to be the, the more problematic team. I think we'll just do this in like, in just like two, two big sessions. So all of you guys are going to go, let's start them off with, um, let's start them off with 3D programming. Let's just get it done. So start education, boom. They're all going to have three months of 3D education and then they're going to have th three months of 3D art as well. And I'm, I'm thinking with the, uh, with the any, guys who are in the other two teams should probably do the same thing yeah i might i might even take that time to to train up some of the other guys as artists as well i don't know i don't know i guess we'll see so that's all of our training done so now i guess we just get through the day we can kind of race through today and just uh here we go, they're getting all the marketing done. You know what? Let's pause this for a second. Because they're not getting the marketing done on these two new games. And I want that done. So I'm going to raise the priority on those to priority two. So that they get done. I'm going to get done a bit faster now. Yes, there we go. They've marketed. Yeah, well, they've, they've finished all the marketing on everything else anyway. So we want to get this stuff finished today. I think they should just about get this finished today with a bit of luck. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Are we going to make any money from them? That's going to be the big question. We've had one hit game. Can we get another? And really start churning the cash out. They haven't quite finished the marketing for those two, which is a bit of a shame. But we'll see. Oh, no, no. They're both duds. Three games, one hit, two duds. But I guess that's the way it goes. The, the weird thing is, look, Micro, Micro Hard shines with Star Gangs at night. It's a beautiful piece of engineering. Um, highly recommend Spacecraft. And yet, they're doing lousy. I mean, really, really bad. I mean, Star Gangs at night. Four and a half thousand? Seriously? Let's have a look at the games. Let's, let's have a look. Your releases. So let's, let's sort it by release date. So Star Gangs at Night. 129 people. <laughs> like, what the hell? I mean, this thing sold 160,000 units. These sold 500 and 129. Let's have a look at... at uh, uh, let's see. Where, where do I want to see? All software. And let's see, did somebody else release, like, similar games, like, just before us or something? So, let's have a look. Let's just look at, um, let's just look at games that were released. So, we've got the Soldier World Battle Light 4, which I must admit does sound like pretty good. But that's not a competitor to us. Um... There was this one. They only, they only sold 3,000. So that wasn't a competitor. So I don't, I don't really know why that. Now this one. Kingdom Trials. Now that was December 1983. That one actually did well. But yeah. It, it is kind of difficult to see why some games are such a massive hit. And some aren't. It does seem to be a little bit hit and miss with the games. <coughs> but maybe that's a reflection of just how games are, because games kind of are like that. Um, you know, sometimes you can think you've produced an awesome game, and it's just a flop, because it just, just doesn't have that little spark that catches people's imagination. Okay, so you know what? Let's minimise the support for air tricks. We'll minimise the support for game edit. Minimise the support for that and that. Okay, so all we're doing at the moment is just support and marketing. Um, but of course, with all of our programmers uh, away, we're not going to be doing the support for these. Oh, I wonder if that's why these are doing so lousy. Ah, that might have been a huge mistake. 
Oh, uh, yeah, that actually is kind of not good. We're not going to have any support on this for like three months. Okay. Hmm. Um, okay, that's not good. I need to do something about that. Do you think we should hire a support team? <laughs> like, like even on a temporary basis to just su supply some support for these? Uh, yeah, I'm thinking that might be a really freaking good idea. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. Let's, um, let's try and remedy the situation. Let's hire a support team. Okay, let, right, so, quick, <laughs> quick, hire, hire some programmers. Oh, my God. Right, so let's, um, let's say, let's price programmers, and we'll bump this up a little bit. A bit more. So I want overall skill, personality. Oh, and before I actually do the hiring, I need to actually create the team. So this is going to be support. Uh, so we'll add support, cool. And then let's hire some some support programmers. So let's um, sort this by... Now, hang on, what the hell did I search for? I, I'm going to do that again because I don't think I... Uh, I can't remember whether I actually selected programmers properly yep so programmers and bump up the salary and those two and that begin looking All right let's let's just see if we can actually get this done so what i'm going to look for is someone who is like uh i don't know like uh like extrovert generous something like that Ah, so here you go, extrovert generous, 26. Skill isn't that great, but it's it's the it's the kind of person that we want. So let's go to support and we'll hire them into support. So you're hired. So let's see, how many how many people did we get? Let's have a look at the team. How many how many support? We have got six people in support. Ah, you know, that, that's good enough. And what we'll do is we'll... Now, you look at the compatibility and it's 164%. If we go in here and appoint one of these as a leader, so we want their skills. So, uh, where's... Oh, here's... Oh, wait, wait, oh, sorry. I want their I want their traits because I want the leadership bonus. So, where's the leadership? Oh, here, here's the one with 100% leadership bonus. Now, their leadership skill is very low. It's only like 2% which I grant you is pretty lousy. Um, but you know what? It'll, it'll come up with time. So we will appoint you as the lead. Uh, not change team, change role, idiot. We'll change the role, you'll be the lead. Now that will instantly make everybody else um, like much more compatible. It boosts their capacity, like doubles it. So that's, um, that's pretty huge. And then we'll make everybody else, boom, 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 as uh, programmers. Boom. Alrighty, cool. So that's it. Yeah, we're done. We're done. We've got a support team. So now what we need to do is is change the support for all of these things. So like this one and this one and this one and this one. Any other support? That's all the support, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. So we'll assign this from all round to, where are we? Down the bottom, support. So that's uh, support and this, same thing. Support and support for spacecraft. Yeah, get those two off, support. And they, there need to be some um, some default settings where you can say you want to assign all support jobs go to support. That would be a really good thing. Really help with the micromanagement stuff. Uh, let's get round uh, and program one. Assign that to support. Now the support people won't arrive until tomorrow. But so we're kind of <laughs> kind of patching. But we'll we'll see what we can do. Okay, uh, that's everything, isn't it? Yeah. So that's that's support, that's support, that's support, and that's support. Okay, cool. Let's just get through the day. So let's see what were we making? One hundred. We, oh, two million, two point six million last month. That's not bad. 
let's see tomorrow when we've actually got a support department offering some support whether we can actually get maybe a little bit more money out of these things. Airtrix is making two and a half mil, which is not bad. Oh, we can't keep up with support for Airtrix. Yeah, well, tomorrow, hopefully, we should. So let's accept all of those. Yes, let's see. This is going to affect our reputation, the fact that we didn't keep up. Uh, let's see. Airtrix is still, still today making two and a half mil. And look, now we're getting through all the support work, which is good. But we need more parking. Did you see that? I don't know whether you saw that message. Let's just pull, let's slow this down. Um, we had a message up here saying we're running out of parking. So, man, we need to uh, we need to assign some more parking. How about we have a, like a parking lot across the road? Should we should we just make this a parking? Let's do it. Let's do it. What the hell? So let's go into build mode. And where's the where's the little signposty thing? I can't see it. Where's the little signposty thing? Should be in the mid, about in the middle. So it should be it should be around here. Oh, is it there? There it is. Couldn't see it. Where is it? There. There's the little signposty thing. So let's drag this out, and we'll buy up this lot over here. So. Which means we've knocked down that building, which, it, which again is no bad thing. Yes, we're starting to take over the world, and yeah, we'll just we'll just put in parking over here <clears throat> for our employees. So what do we want? Uh, we want roads, and we want uh, vertical parking, and then uh, do I do I extend this so that we can get right into here? I don't know. Oh, what, oh, what, oh, no, yeah, no, it's in the right place anyway. So, so let's just let's just make this an enormous parking lot. Boom, 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 boom. All righty, lots of booms. Okay, so we've now got that. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to definitely build our new office building over there as well. Uh, okay, so having done that, right now. Now that we're actually getting some support done, and in fact, in fact, I think, yeah, they've, they've completed all the support work. So, you know what? Let's get into the next day and find out, does that have any impact on our profits? What are we making today? So, yeah, we'll find out tomorrow. Let's just speed this up a little bit. Let's get through into tomorrow. Come on, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and... Next day, good. Uh, how much are they asking for? Another 25 grand a month, good lord. Let's get into the next day. So we're into the next day, what's going on? And, well, Airtrix is still making two and a half million. Um, it hasn't had any visual impact on, on these guys. MH DOS is down to making a couple of hundred thou. Um, we're not making anything from video edit anymore, or audio edit, or uh, MH DOS game edit. So I guess we can start closing down some of these marketing jobs. Um, and our profits, uh, disappointing, down to 1.6 million. We need to get started on uh, on our new products. It is December. Now the company, like the, the whole company is gonna go on holiday in January. So in February, we're gonna start work on our brand new super duper awesome operating system which is going to dominate the entire world so come back because you're not going to want to miss that peace out